today I'm going to be changing the fuel filter on the old SS Ute. Now I'll show you what I've done so far. You start the car, you have it running, and you pull that, that's your fuel pump relay, until it stops. And then just turn the ignition off and put that back in. Don't turn the ignition back on or you'll start your fuel pump again. That should get some of the fuel out of the line. I don't think it'll get all of it out, but um, it should get some of it. And really, the only tool, I know there's a like a zip tie that holds it in. I've got the trusty fuel line tool. That should be the only one I need. And a rag, because you always spill it on yourself. And I'll show you. Once again, I have nothing prepared, which is pretty standard. Sorry about all the camera moving around. Um... I'm going to put a super cheap one on, that one there, so, uh, if I can get this to focus, it's in the dark now, hang on, there's the number, so I'll just pause this for a second, get everything set up, and um, we'll get started. Okay, there's our target. It's a fuel filter. I've already unclipped one line. I've tried all sorts of different tools. I just use my fingers. You've got to push it in. I'll show you on the other one the best as best I can. This is the best camera angle I can get. Um, none of the uh, fuel line tools I've got will fit in. And, you, and even though I, um, I drain the fuel line, there's still fuel in there. So... That uh, little thing I showed you before about pulling the pulling the uh, relay, I would not bother, mate, because I'm getting just as much fuel as I always do out of this lot. And I, you're going to get covered in it. It's a prick of a job. There's always fuel left in the filter. So the best you can do is take one side out, like I'm doing here, and hold the rag on it. And just try and get it out. Get the rag to soak it up. No, it's still coming. Probably lose half a tank. No. I think what I'm going to do, because the line that I haven't disconnected is from the tank. So, now that I've put fuel everywhere, what I'm going to tell you is take this one off first. And uh, like I said, I tried all different tools, but what I did, the only way I could do it was to push in, and then you squeeze. Yeah, this is going to make a mess. And there's two little tabs on the side that you can squeeze if I can get it out, but no, all right, I think I've got that one. So, the best advice I can give you, and I've done this before, and it's you know, typical as soon as you put the camera on, everything gets hard. Um, I've done it before, never had this drama. Take this side off first which is a mistake I just made. Like I said before, when I do these videos, you get to see all the mistakes as I make them. So, now that's the, they give, no, that's the old one off. And they do give you new clips, I'll show you. I've put them on here. I don't know if you can see that, but these two clips I've put on, but I don't know, I've never really changed them. So I might just take these two back off, these these ones I've put on here. I've never really had to change them. So I reckon I might just see if I can manipulate these two off. He says. They are pricks of things. I think I'll just break them. I don't need them. Mate. I, I can't be bothered mucking around. There's getting fuel all over me. Really gives me the shits. 
Okay, so from the tank, this is the way the old one was set up with the join, like the top of it was here facing the tank. So there's no flow indicator. This is a super cheap one. So there's no real flow indicator. I'm just going off the old one. Um, which is another aftermarket one, but that's how it's set up. So what I'm going to do is put the top of it. I don't know if you can. I'm going to put the top of it towards the outside of the car. That one's clipped in, and that one's clipped in, and then you just do this up. If you buy a Ryko one, it'll give you this. You can put a new one on. Hang on. Now I've got to work out how to do this because it won't stay on. How did I do it? Oh, there we go. That's it. All right. Now that's job done. Oh, there's still fuel coming out of this. Mate, like, you could run a four cylinder on f probably for a day on the fuel I'm getting out of this. Um, so that's it. So, what I'll do now is I'll fire the car up or I'll just turn the ignition on, make sure this doesn't leak. Uh, like I said, there's two tabs here. I can't really show you, but what you've got to do is push it in first. And you squeeze these two tabs and just wriggle it and they come off. I tried all sorts of bloody tools and shit and it didn't work. So anyway, it's a pretty simple job, but it's really, really messy. I'm covered in fuel now. So um, all I'm going to do, I'll leave the camera going. And I'm just going to turn the ignition on, see if it leaks. I can't see anything dripping, so, yes. Anyway, that's a fuel filter she's done. Not very hard, and those of you, I don't know, with a keen eye, I, because this is a ute, I took the spare wheel out just to get it out of the way. But, um, to be honest, that was mainly for the camera, because my tripod's that tall, and this was the only angle that I could get. Anyway... I hope that helps you. Um, if I could show you, I well, might try and get a close-up of the clips. Just hang on a minute. I'll see if I can show you these clips. Although, of course, they're facing the wrong way. But there's two tabs. I don't know if you can see. No, you can't see it. All right. That's them there. If you look under... You push in and you can push those two tabs with your fingers and wriggle those lines off. But like I said, do this side first. Um, here, I'll show you. As I've just discovered, take this side off first because I took this side off and all it's doing is fuel's running through it from the tank and um, spilling out this side. So that must be the line to the engine, I'd say. And this one is from the tank. Anyway, um, that's I'm not going to make a long video. I hope that helps. See you in the next one. Like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.